It's Mrs. Coli. Today I'm going to be teaching you a very, very important language arts skill, and it's about word analysis. What that means is when we read words that are very challenging to decode or to sound out, we want to, as students, be able to break that word apart. And words do have chunks or beginnings, um, combinations of letters that we call prefixes. And then words have a base word or a root word that stands alone that you can find actually in a dictionary. It's a real word. And then at the end of the words, they also have chunks um, of letters that make up sounds that have meaning. So it's not only just chunks of letters or word chunks, but these are chunks that actually mean something. So it's like um, being a word detective in a sense. So um, good decoders are good word analyzers. So when they get to a big word, they take off the prefix, they take off the suffix, and then they say to themselves, what does comfort mean? Or can I read this word? Yeah, I can read the word comfort. Now I'm going to add my prefix, uncomfort. Oh, and this is the, the suffix, a bull. Uncomfortable. And then they say, okay, so un means not. It's not comfortable. Um, and so this is a skill that all great readers use in, a, in order to understand the meaning of words, but also to decode the words as a good reader, especially as we're reading um, very complex text. These are the skills when this would come in handy. So today my focus is to review prefixes that we've learned this year and suffixes that we've learned this year. And in my next lesson, I will speak specifically about root words. Some of the most um, important prefixes to know would be, of course, un and dis. And we're going to talk a little bit more about those in a minute. Good suffixes to know would be the able, the li, and then just always be aware of any ending, ing, ed, and s are all considered suffixes. And I've taught that to you once before. And then just know that sometimes we might even have one or two suffixes on the end of words, like in the word disrespect fully. So you're adding the word full, which means full of something, and then the ly, which is how it's done. So let's go ahead and review this very, very important skill to know. Okay, so these are just real basic ones that you've been learning. These are part of our table of prefixes or our chart of prefixes. This is our chart of suffixes. So re means again, like in the word reread. Un means not, like in the word unhappy. Pre means before, like in the word pre-write. Miss means wrong, like in the word misspell. Over means too much, like in the word oversleep. Dis means not, like in the word disagree. M means not, like in the word impossible. Non means not, like in the word nonfiction. I know I've taught a lot of these different words to you boys and girls, so this should be a piece of cake. Let's go over our suffixes, which come on the end of our base words or our root words. We have full, that means full of, like in the word colorful, so it's full of color, or the word or the suffix less, which means without. For instance, the word fearless, so you're without fear. Or these would be our, our endings. This would be the past tense ending. So ed means it already happened, like jumped. And the ing ending, which is usually future tense, like or present tense, like it's happening now. So sitting. And then we have our ending, the ly ending, which means how it's done, slowly. And so typically ly words are going to be your adverbs, aren't they? And then we have able, which means able to do something, like in the word growable. Or we have er, um, so these are the comparative adjectives that we use, like the er that means more, taller. Or if you're going to compare a lot of things, er we use when we're going to compare two things, but when we compare more than two things, then we add est which means most, and that elephant is the biggest land mammal for those of you studying animals. Hopefully this has helped you remember what we've learned this year. 
Okay, so again, let's do a quick quiz. So pre means what? Before. What does un and in mean? Not. Nice. What does dis mean? Opposite. What does re mean? Again. What does miss mean? Wrongly. What does less mean? Not able to. Lee means what? In a way or how it's done. Able means what? How it can be done. Full means what? It's full of something. So anyways, this is my lesson for today on prefixes and suffixes. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you're able to use a lot of these great prefixes and suffixes. In review, final thing, this is what I actually taught my students in my class. So let's just go over it one more time, just really quickly. These are some examples of where you would see these words in text. So dis means not, right? So read these words with me, please. And you're going to notice some of them do have suffixes. So we have a prefix and suffix combination. Some of these words just have a prefix. I know that I've given you quizzes before and asked, does the word have prefixes? Um, or does it have a prefix and a suffix? And sometimes we just, oh, we say, oh, I found the prefix and we forget it has a suffix. So this is a great visual showing you that some of our base words or root words have not only a prefix, but it has a suffix. So let's be on the lookout for these. So we have the word disrespectful. It has both a prefix and suffix. What's this word? Disagree. It only has a prefix. Discourage only has a prefix. Disappointment has both a prefix, dis, and a suffix, meant. Dis disgrace has only a prefix. Nice. And all of the dis chunks mean not. Now let's talk about un. Here we go. Untie. Say it after me. Untie. And show me with your fingers. Does it have prefix, left thumb? I guess it would be your right thumb. So prefix, suffix. Let's just do this and I'll know prefixes. All of the words are going to well, just show me prefix, suffix, or if it only has a prefix or a suffix, one thumb. That'll be our code system. So untie, what does it have? Good. Make it some light. Okay, we have undo or undone. What does it have? Prefix. Unhappy. Prefix. Unhealthy. Prefix. Unsafe. Prefix. Unkind. Prefix. Okay, now we're going to talk about the prefix re, which means do it again, like you're going to do it again, literally. Or reread, we're going to read it again. So you say the base word and then follow it up with what the prefix means. Redo, what does it have? Prefix. Reread, prefix. Retake, prefix. What about remake? Just has a prefix. Recharge, say it with me. Recharge. Prefix. Refund, say it with me. Refund. Prefix. And then we have rewrite, means to write it again. Just a prefix. And then we have return, say it with me, return, prefix only. Okay, so let's come over here to prefixes. A prefix is a word part at the beginning of a word, which is our review. Pre means before, so let's go through these examples and see if we just have prefixes or if we have prefixes and suffixes on these words as we analyze these words. Preschool, so it means it's school that you go to that's before school. Heat, that means we're going to heat it up before. Order means we're going to order it before. Preview means we're going to view it before. Pretest means we're going to test you before we teach it, right? Okay, so all of these words, preschool, prefix, preheat, prefix, preorder, prefix, preview, prefix, pretest, prefix. So what are we noticing? A lot of words just have prefixes especially second and third grade words. Now let's take a look at some suffixes and um, see what do these suffixes look like. Okay, so what is a suffix? A suffix is a word part added to the end of a word. These are some examples of what does full mean? Full means full of something, like in the word harmful. So it's full of harm. So that has a suffix. In this case, um, let's go like this. The hang loose sign. So if it has a suffix, let's do this. Prefix, suffix. That's kind of our code system. I just changed it up a little bit. Okay, so, and then if it has a prefix and a suffix, it'll look like this. Prefix, suffix. Okay, so full of something. So harmful, suffix. Careful, it's full of care. Suffix. Beautiful, full of beauty, suffix. 
disrespectful. Okay, so that one had both the prefix and the suffix. Dis means not. Not full of respect is what disrespectful means. Wow, we got it. Wonderful suffix. It's full of wonder. Okay, so our next suffix we're going to really analyze tonight or today is the ly, which means how something is done. And these are our typical adverbs end in ly. So if you're ever tested on words that end in ly, choose adverbs and you'll get it right every time. Okay, so we have softly, so it's done soft. Suffix. Quietly, it's done quiet. Suffix. Wonderfully, oh my goodness, do this. Two suffixes. Woohoo! You don't see too many of those. So you, it's done. It's done full of wonder. Wow, that's a pretty cool word, isn't it? Then we have happily. Happily, it's done happy. One suffix. Slowly. One suffix. It's done slow. Lightly. One suffix. It's done light. And if I take the word gentle and I change the E for the Y, my word gentle now is changed to gently. So when you go to look for a base word, just know that you're probably going to have to add an E to the word. And we're going to talk more about that when I do the root words on my next lesson. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. You're going to be taking a quiz soon, and you're going to do an amazing job on that quiz if you practiced with me today. We did a ton of learning, a lot of reviewing. I hope you love being a word detective, and you like to analyze words as much as I do. Because if you can do this, guess what? You're going to be able to read some really challenging text, and I know you can do it. You're going to be a great decoder. Okay, until next time, have a great day, and keep on reading. Bye-bye.